So I made a video telling y'all that y'all need to get on y'all Zoom and start creating some content. Now, not everybody wants to be a social media influencer. I'm 100% understanding of that. It's not for the faint at heart, if you want me to be honest. And there are people who have been trying to become an influencer, a content creator for months and years with no success. I am here to tell y'all the honest truth. It don't happen for everybody. There are people that have tried all the methods, all the hacks, all the secrets, and it does not happen. A lot of times the reason it does not happen for some people is because you are making content for your passions and interests. And that may not be what the people want to see. So I'm going to address with y'all today what it is that I done in order to build this type of following on TikTok. And the reason why I would suggest starting your content creating business on TikTok is because TikTok is the fastest growing platform. I don't care what nobody says. It is the most addictive for most people spend hours upon hours on their TikTok app. And I'm going to share with you what I did to build my following. Now, According to the comment section, I also had a couple of other questions that were asked of me, and I am going to answer that as well, okay? So this is going to be an all-encompassing how to make money on TikTok, how to build a following, what kind of content should I make, blah, 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 blah. Let's get into it. So question number one that I got, and a relatively easy one, is do you need your TikTok account to be a personal account or a business account to qualify? You can have a personal account on TikTok for it to qualify for monetization once you hit the follower count and the posting volume that they require, okay? You do not have to have a business account. The benefits of having a business account is if you ever want to do a email in your link to where people can click and email you directly, you will need a business account. But to be honest, on your personal account, you can put a link tree, which is what I have. And that link tree has all of my links to all the ways to contact me, the services you can get through me my website, it has everything that you need there as well. So you don't have to have it, but that is the major difference between a business account and a personal account. In my opinion, you need the personal account because your personal account will allow you to use the trending sounds. Your business account will not. And trending sounds is important and I'll explain later, okay? But very simple answer. Do you need a personal account or a business account? And I say you only need a personal account. All right. So question number two, I'm getting all the easy ones out the way. Question number two, does the content need to be on a specific subject or can I create content around fiance, lifestyle, parenting hood, et cetera, et cetera? My suggestion and what I have followed is, yes, the content is about what you're interested in because otherwise you will get burnt out constantly making content about stuff you don't care nothing about, right? So yes, you have to have an interest for it, but it also has to be what other people want to see. So for example, if you are making content around your fiance, you're gonna do couples content right? Y'all going to show date night. Y'all going to show y'all traveling. Y'all are going to have, you know, Q and A if you want. This is what we do as a couple. You can use the couple's content as a way to parlay that into all kinds of stuff. For example, come cook dinner with me and my boo. And that night you share a recipe. Now you're getting into the cooking content, right? Me and my honey was having a conversation last night. Baby, what did you say last night? I just think it's crazy how women have a problem with 50-50. And then you and your man share y'all's opinion on 50-50. The, 
The 50-50 conversation on TikTok always goes viral because it is a hot topic issue. So you are able to have your content be about something that you enjoy, which is your, your fiance, your relationship. But then you do have to kind of reach out and grab things that are trending. You do have to kind of reach out and grab things like you can sprinkle some fashion in there. If you and your boo like to get dressed up for date night, sprinkle a get ready with us for date night. And then you can add the fashion and pull the fashion people in. You see where I'm going? But your pillar can be relationship or the couple and then you can branch off and kind of pull some other topics into that same topic but what you will need to do is check what is called the creator search insights creator insight search i may be saying that backwards but i've put it right here you want to see what people are are looking for what people are shopping for so you can always put in trending hashtags in the search you can put in creator insight search and on TikTok it will pop this little box up and then you can go in there and it's going to give you a list of all the things that people are searching. It is important for you to try to touch on the things that people are searching because that's how your content is going to be discovered. You also asked, you know, about lifestyle, parenting, etc. You can talk about anything but you just need to make sure it's something that people want to see, okay? And also, pertaining to what kind of content you need to make, the biggest part, and I cannot stress this enough, I should have started this question with this answer. The biggest thing to remember is that you have got to be authentic. Be yourself. If you have a personality, if you like to talk, if you are very funny, be yourself. When you are on camera talking to your audience, talking to your community, they can tell when you're faking it. They can tell. And it makes it very hard for you to offer them consistent quality if you're putting on and pretending to be something that you're not. It's going to be very hard for you to keep that up. So regardless of what type of content you're making, please be 100% authentic. So that way you never have to worry about quality control. You never have anything to compare it against. You never have to, well, I told them this this time and now I got to keep that up. If you stay 100% authentically you, you won't have to worry about it, right? So lifestyle, relationship, money, parenting, whatever you choose, check it against trending hashtags check it against the creator search insights check and see what other people are watching and what they're looking for and try to fit and meet the gap there okay now did i have any other questions that's those are the easy questions okay so now let's get into the real meat and potatoes how do i build the following how do i go viral what do i do to build up my tiktok community so that i can make some monies okay listen in order to build a following you have to be consistent people say that a thousand times but when you are trying to build a community people are looking for you once they find value in your content so if you start posting every Monday at 10, try your best to stay on every Monday at 10. People will constantly come looking for your content and they're more amped to follow because now you have added value. You have informed them, educated them, or entertained them in some kind of way and they want to keep looking for it. So stay consistent. That's one. Two, you got to go steal some followers. Yep. And what I mean by that is, let's use an example of a cooking channel. You are Chef Ash and you cook and you are building a channel on cooking. If I only have 1,500 followers because I'm just now building my page, I'm just now building my TikTok up, what you're going to do is you're going to go into TikTok and you're going to search cooking, chef, date night food ideas, cooking for my toddler, whatever it is that you are trying to cook, you're going to search that. 
And as you go through these different pages that are also cooking what you want to cook, you're going to find pages that have larger followings than you. And then what you're going to do is go to his or her page. Let's say it's Chef Mike. You're going to go to Chef Mike page and you're going to follow Chef Mike. Chef Mike got 200,000 followers. Just throwing numbers out there. And when you see Chef Mike come down your FYP, because you have now followed Chef Mike, you're going to get into the comment section of Chef Mike's videos. And if Chef Mike made a cake, you're going to get into the comment section and say, oh my gosh, this cake looks so good. I'm going to have to try this recipe, right? And then all the other people that are in that comment section, let's say every video that Chef Mike posts, let's say you're going to comment on 10, 15, 20 different comments. Building a, a following takes some work, but it's worth it. And once you start doing this consistently, you'll start seeing results. For every comment that you choose, you may see somebody say, oh, this cake would be great for my baby's birthday. Hit reply. Oh, you are so right. This cake will be perfect for your baby's birthday. Right? You're going to comment to start engaging with his following, Chef Mike's following, because Chef Mike has the same audience that you have. Once you have done that enough with, let's say, three different larger pages, then what you can start doing is definitely saying, Chef Mike, what's the recipe? Chef Mike done got so big that he don't want to share his recipe for his apple pie. You get what I'm saying? So if you go into the comment section and you see people say, oh, I would love to have the recipe and Chef Mike didn't reply, there is no recipe, you could use that as a response video. So you click reply and it will show you a box to either type or a box to record. Uh-huh. You can hit that record button and make an actual video response to that commenter that was on Chef Mike's page. Now, some people don't be bold enough to do this, baby, but depending on how bad you want it, you'll go get them followers. Because once you hit the reply button and you make a video, you can say something to the effect of, we all love a great apple pie. And here is my simple five recipe, five ingredient recipe. You cook this apple pie, you give text on screen and say, hey, here's everything I use. And then you can reply directly to the lady or gentleman who said it. Now, Ann, I hope that helped you, baby. And I would love to show you more recipes on my page. Good luck. She is gonna come over there and follow you because you did something that the large creator didn't do. You addressed her question directly, you engaged with her directly, and you gave her what she needed. You added value to Ann's life. Ann in the kitchen right now whipping up an apple pie because of you, right? So why wouldn't she follow you? You do that enough. These people will slowly but surely start following you, okay? And the third way that you can build followers is don't be afraid to slide in them DMs, baby. Don't be afraid to follow people back. If you see somebody constantly commenting on your content, apparently they like it. If they're not already following you, hit them with a, I, oh, I love the support you're giving me. I see we don't follow each other. Don't worry, I followed you. Go ahead and follow back. If they don't respond there, don't be afraid to slide on in the DMs. I followed you, girl. I love the support. Follow me back. You got to ask for what you want. Close mouths. Don't get fed. Now, now Ronnie says something different in the Players Club. But you get what I'm saying. You got to ask for what you want. And also, when you are making content at the end of your video, if you like this video, don't forget to follow. It's free to support. You can start at the beginning of, the, of your video. Guys, I'm going to give you all the secrets. So you might as well go ahead and hit the follow button. You get what I'm saying? You got to ask for what you want, okay? So that is what I did to build my following before I went viral. I'm about to address how to go viral, okay? 
So that is what I did. I was doing the work behind the scenes and a lot of people didn't know that. Oh, I almost forgot. Another thing that I did, even to this day, that still works, is try your best to respond to all of your comments within the first hour. So if you post a video, okay, within the first hour of you posting that video, you better be replying to every comment. And you need to be replying with more than just a smiley face emoji or a thank you. You need to be replying with thoughtful, engaging comments. If Ash leaves a comment and says, oh, that dress is so cute, you respond with, Ash, girl, is it not? Question mark. I got this dress off the TikTok shop and I love it. Right? If you see that Mike leaves a comment on y'all's couple Get ready with me. Mike says, oh man, bruh, boots is hard. You can come back and comment. My man said, thank you, Mike, exclamation point. We just want you to know he got these boots from DSW. You should check them out. And then I want you to tag DSW. The more eyes that you get on your platform or your page, the more likelihood that followers are gonna come. And you're really killing two birds with one stone by tagging DSW because now you are showing brands. I'm telling the people about you. So now you do that enough. That's how some of these people are getting brand deals. That is how they see you consistently supporting. They see your followers looking for what you have found at DSW. It only makes sense for DSW to work with you as a brand, right? Once we get there, it take a minute to get a brand deal, baby. I don't know if I'm not consistent enough or what. I still ain't got my first brand deal, but I'm working on it, right? Okay. So those are the ways that I built, I built my following, okay? Now let's talk about how to go viral, how to get views. Let's talk about how to get your content out there. Here is the honest to goodness truth. It ain't no rhyme or reason. <laughs> TikTok's algorithm will pick the silliest video to go viral. And then the video that you put the most work in, all the edits, all the captions, all the hashtags, all the text on screens, all the hooks, all the effects, the camera quality, the video that you think this is gonna hit, it's not. <laughs> it's not. But here is some things that I know have helped me to go viral because I just want to be fully honest and transparent with you guys. Going viral is happenstance. Going viral is just posting consistently. You post a hundred videos, the likelihood of some of those videos going viral is way more higher or more probable than if you only post one video a week, I ain't went viral yet. Of course you haven't because you're not putting in enough content for the algorithm to pick you up, right? So here are the things that I have done to go viral. Number one, knowing the trending topics and talking about them the moment that they happen. People do not take social media seriously when you are starting off, but it's a job, baby. It is a job. It takes keeping your finger on the pulse to know what people are talking about. Because let's say, for example, if something is trending on TikTok, you got 24 hours. You got 24 hours to make a video about said, a response video or whatever, about whatever topic it is. Within 24 to 48 hours, they're on to something else. You can go viral quicker talking about a trending topic and then putting it in the search panel. So I've put a screenshot here. Once you are getting ready to post your video, you'll have this box pop up to where you can put whatever you want in the box. It needs to be something catchy. So for example, if there is a video going viral of a girl in a blue dress, that needs to say girl in blue dress because that's what everybody is searching and they could pop into your video or your video will pop into that search. So you're talking about a trending topic because everybody's talking about this girl in the blue dress because 
she stole the dress from Walmart and got caught and then she still wore the dress in a mugshot. Let's say, I'm just, I don't know what really be happening in the trending topics, but you get what I'm saying. So now you're going to make a response video. You're gonna talk about this trending topic. So you make your video and your video needs to look something like this. You're gonna have a hook. A hook is something that you use to catch people's attention. It could be that you talking with your hands. So as they're scrolling, you saying, come here, let me talk to you, grabs them and literally hooks them in. It could be that you are saying, did y'all hear about that girl in the blue dress? That could be your hook. Your hook could be, I could never in a million years do what this girl did. You get what I'm saying? You've got to do something to make people stop scrolling and pay attention to you. Because on TikTok, they have to watch at least five seconds in order for your video to count towards your monetization. So keep that in mind. So if you can keep them for five seconds, that is a video that is most likely going to go viral because more people are watching it because your hook is catching people in, okay? And hooking them in. Now, when it comes to how do you make the content, you're telling the story. You're sharing information, you're giving your opinion, or you're telling the story. So I would say the girl in the blue dress, supposedly, allegedly, baby, because I, uh -uh, I can't be just throwing out allegations out here. She stole this dress, got caught in the dress, and then lied and said she never stole the dress, even though she's in her dress in the mug shot. Is that not crazy? See, if that was me, I would do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Do you see how I shared, I gave a hook to catch people in, I told a story, or I informed people of what happened, and then I gave my opinion. And then if you really wanna go viral, at the end, you say, now what would y'all have done? Because I know y'all's mamas raised y'all better than that, right? Or, do y'all think she was right? You ask them some type of question so they can leave it in the comment section. Because the more engagement, the more comments that your video gets, the more TikTok will recognize, oh, people must really like this video. Let's push it into the algorithm more, okay? Now, the next thing is when you are getting ready to edit your video, you need to put text on screen, one of which is the title that you put on the top, right? But then you can also cut your captions on. We don't recognize how many people are on TikTok that are hearing impaired. So they can't hear you, but they can definitely read these text on screen. And also, there are some people in other countries that don't speak our language, but they can translate through their app the captions that you put on the screen. So we have to remember that TikTok is a worldwide app. It's crazy. So if you put the text on screen, it will allow people to read along, translate, so that they know what you're talking about. When you are trying to go viral, it is imperative that you cut your captions on, okay? And last but not least, we all know about hashtags, okay? So hashtags is just a way for your video to be searched. A lot of people go wrong with hashtags because they put way too many hashtags in there, way too many. I say stay between three and five. First hashtag is always going to be the title that you used on the text on screen. So if it is titled girl in blue dress, hashtag girl in blue dress, right? Then what is your video about? Your video is about women getting caught doing crimes. You can do hashtag women criminals, right? If you are starting a gossip or a tea page, you can start, you can make a hashtag like Nashville T, because I'm in Nashville, and it will start to pull those people in, okay? So those are the things that I have done to go viral. And I've gone viral multiple times. And although I stand by, TikTok will pick who they want to go viral when they want them to go viral. You really have no control over it. There is no guarantee way to go viral, but those are the things that I have done consistently since I went viral the first time. 
Make sure that you are talking about a trending topic, but be authentically you when you're talking about that topic. And if it's something that you know you don't get behind, don't touch it, okay? Because then you gotta constantly make more content like that. Don't do that. Um, I know I'm gonna try to summarize, but I don't remember everything that I said. So I'll make sure that I put subtitles and, and break everything down in the video. But to go viral, make sure that you use the search box, search bar, so your video can be searchable. Make sure that you have a hook that pulls people in. Make sure that you either inform, tell a story, and then add your opinion at the end to make the, interest, the video interesting. Always ask a question so that they have a reason to engage in your comment section so that can push you into the algorithm and using hashtags stay between three and five so you don't overdo the hashtags because it'll make it too confusing to categorize your videos um but that is it i will not sit here and tell y'all that it's super easy make a three minute video and you're gonna be making thousands of dollars every day That's i am not gonna tell you that lie but if you follow the formula that I just gave you, if you break that thing down, your success possibility will be 10 times higher. It worked for me and I've watched it work for dozens of other people that have asked me, it will work for you too, okay? Now what I would love to do is if you are needing one-on-one -on -one help, if you've already started the TikTok page and you feel like something ain't right, something you're not getting the payoff that you want for your efforts i have linked my website where you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me and i will do an audit of your social media account we will have a conversation about what i see you could improve in i'll be able to give you a detailed personal review of your content and what i would do to get a better result if that's something that you need hit that link in the description box and i'm here for you i'm here to help I'm here for us to monetize our intellectual property. I'm here for us to use our gifts to prepare for our future. And if I can be a aid in that, I would be more than happy to, okay? So I hope this video helps. Y'all enjoy. Go get that money. Love you guys.